Oh, lots of people top shows right here. Oh, oh, what a night. We partied again like 1999 or 1969, whatever you want to call it. It is now 12 o'clock. <laughs> so, pretty much what I'm going to be doing today, I'm just going to be chill, relaxing today. Um, I don't know what really to do today, to be honest. Um, we'll see what happens as the day comes. I'm just going to go outside now, get some fresh air, have some breakfast. Have the cleaners come here to clean up the mess, and uh, yeah, so uh, it's the thinking on my feet today. Well, I was not expecting it, this weather to be like this today, people. As you guys already know, it's 12 o'clock and it's fucking raining. It posts, it posts to not rain until like, well, yesterday it posted to stop yesterday. So, it was the first time actually getting the weather forecast wrong over here. My god. Um, but yeah, today, because it's 12 o'clock, I woke up extremely late. As you guys know, I went out drinking around about until like 4.35 in the morning. Um, didn't drink like mixtures, I literally just stuck to ale. But it was uh, a fantastic night as always. Um, I'm sure I've got some pictures knocking out somewhere, so they'll be on the um, picture vlog. Um, but yeah, um, so today is pretty much going around Akiba, I think. Look around at some of the shops, hopefully take some pictures and some video clips. But yeah, this this rain is a fucking downer today. At least today is already a good day, people. Today was the release of the new new um, booster box for Yu-Gi-Oh! So, finally I lined up and I actually got myself a box. Before they all went out fucking selling out like pot cakes like they always do. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. So, it almost cost me uh, 2,600 yen for a booster box. That's actually really, really good. It, I think, if I remember, it contains um, 10 booster packs or 15. I don't remember. But that will get opened up to the channel like, in the near future. After, after 35 minutes of looking, people, you wouldn't believe what I found. Right up here. The meme of it all. 4,500 yen, though. That's very, very steep, but it's the whole entire karaoke collection for Kido Kazuma. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Holy crap, people, I was not expecting to find that CD. I didn't think that I would ever, ever, ever find it. I was looking for any of them, and two turned up instantly. One from number six, and that one was the actual old karaoke one. I wanted the karaoke one, and that's the Kido Kazuma one. There is one more missing, and that's the Goro Majima one. But that one is a rare one to find. I've seen it on eBay to go through that about 40, 50, 60 quid easily, so that's like about 10,000 yen. Do I really need to? He did a few good songs, but Kido Kazuma is the goat of all goats of karaoke. So, so without further ado then, he's still pissing it down. I'm gonna have a look around a little bit more. Probably go to Radio Kaikon if it's not too busy. See where the day takes us, but like I said, though, money is starting to become very, very, very short. Well, I was not expecting this tonight. I was literally on my way home after my last, literally, my final purchase of the year. To me, it looked like um, they're getting themselves prepared to see an idol. Well, if it, that's the way they're dressed. Um, I've seen it all over the internet and everybody, pretty much people dress up like that and they're definitely going for seeing an idol. Um, it's quite common in Akihabara. But uh, yeah, I get the gist of it all. But anyhow, that's my last day of shopping. It's time to go home, replenish ourselves and have a recap on what is my last purchases of this holiday. Okay, people, so this was the last spending spree of the holiday, people. And yeah, we it's only the 18th of March, Saturday. Um, as you guys know, I go back on the 21st, pretty much early doors of the 21st. So literally, tomorrow is my last day fully, if you ask me now, because on uh, the 20th, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be awake midday and then after that around about seven o'clock i am flat out going to sleep because i have to wake up early doors in the morning to catch my plane anyhow the final sp spending spree 
what did I buy for the final lot. Now, if you guys want to know, I did buy a few things off camera a few days back. You'll get them updates later on when I do get back home, when you see the whole entire haul, when I spread it all out in front of you guys, so you guys have an idea what I bought with that amount of money. And if you guys know, it all, not all the money that I spent was onto all this type of merchandise and everything. Most of it, I went on to drinks, food, partying, you get my gist. Anyhow, so first off, I bought myself a few random booster packs for this new set, just to see what um, type of art types there's in it. I got quite I got quite lucky, I got three Shatter Foils, but I also got a Super Rare. As you guys know, you do not guarantee to get yourself a foil in these packs, so it's really good. I only bought four packs. That's your common hold, the Shatter Foils, but the Super Rare was the ones you want to go after. And to tell you truthfully, people, I really do love this new archetype, the Chef archetype. I really do like it, and also in the set there's um, dinosaurs and everything, so there's dinosaurs, there's chefs, and more dinosaurs, so it's like a dinosaur mixed with chefs archetype. There's also something else in it, but I have no idea, but as well I went to Hobby Station and I picked up some singles, um, just because they're English and everything, and I thought screw it, they're, worth, uh, they're worth literally 30 yen each. So I got myself Goyo Guardian, uh, Ultimate Flagship Utreon, uh, Gauntlet Launcher, never heard of that card before, and the Divinity Dragon. Um, literally two supers, two ultras, can't complain there for 30 yen each, I'm happy with that. I bought this in um, one of these like, little shops in uh, Radio Kaikon. Um, I didn't even notice it until I literally picked it up, and it is a DS slash Game Boy Advance SP charging adapter. So if you guys can afford buying the original Game Boy SP or um, the the original Nintendo DS uh, charger, and they are quite expensive people to get official ones, this adapter will save your life because this will change that adapter to a micro USB, which are freaking cheap. I paid. 580 yen with it, with this, with tax. So there's that. Um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, next up, uh, that's the last thing I bought. Uh, that's just food for me for tonight. Uh, this is the booster box that I opened up. Uh, the booster pack that I opened up. This is the booster box itself. Um, pretty much, it looks like the chefs, dinosaurs, and some sort of warrior type of monsters. But it looks like there's only 45 cards in the set. It's very, very small. There is 15 booster packs in here. Um, so there's 30 commons, uh, 12 supers, probably three ultras, and every single card in the set can be a shatter foil. So. Quite good, okay, it's not bad set, not bad, I like it, it's not bad set, to be honest. Uh, the other thing I got, very happy I picked this up. This is the Yakuza Karaoke Collection for Q Kazuma. I finally have it in my hands. This CD was freaking expensive. 4,500 yen for this CD, people, literally, for one freaking disc and it's clean as a whistle and literally look at it oh, Kiryu Kazuma singing that's awesome um, you may be thinking what songs are on here by the by the look of the translations and everything I have an idea what songs are on it uh, there's one that's hands like a butterfly great song um, tonight judgment machine gun kiss it says a Taxi Driver Edition, so I know exactly know which one that is. That is also Baka Mitai. Um, another Fly Like a Butterfly. Uh, I think the only one I think that's not here is um, Komuro Cho. Two seconds, people. Mama Dodge is ringing me. Give me two minutes. So, yeah. Karaoke All Time Best Collection. Kiryu Kazuma from the Yakuza series. Freaking love it. Like I said, there was another one in there, which was Yakuza 6, um, uh, Song of Life. It's a good song, good songs were in it, but 
I really wanted the karaoke one more, the, more than anything and they were both the same price so I had to choose one or the other because like I said I didn't have enough money anymore so there's that uh, the last thing I did buy which I pretty much wanted to pre-order this when it first got announced and literally as I was about to pre-order it it got sold out instantly from Nintendo but I found him I have now an official owner of the amiibo, the one and only legend himself, Sephiroth. God, how many months it took me to try and find this guy, and how freaking expensive he is. Last time I saw him on eBay, it was 70 quid. I know he may be a lot, lot cheaper now, but for 4,400 yen for this guy, definitely worth my, every penny in my pocket I had left, left for it. I am so freaking chuffed he is now in my collection. So, he's my last purchase. I think it was the best way to end the purchases of all times. A lot of people may be thinking, Dobsy, it's not true. You're going, to forget. you're going to find something else, probably for very, very cheap, and you're going to go ahead and buy it. I do not want to risk going over budget on my suitcases. Because if, if I am overweight, I have to pay for it, and I do not have that money for it. Anyhow. I'm gonna go ahead and watch some TV. Some f some comedy guy with a what what with a what a balloon uh, helmet is um, riding a bike um, to some sort of destination. But yeah, that's it for me for tonight, people. There's nothing really left for me to do tonight. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What does tomorrow bring for us? Pretty much tomorrow is gonna be a nice different day. I am planning on going back to get my Ginza steak, which I'm not going to record, that's just going to be myself and uh, enjoying it for myself. Um, a lot of people have messaged me saying you should go back to Iuno for the anchovy blossoms, but probably stay for the whole day. I'll try, but I want to go to Ginza steak first, which starts, which opens up around about half eleven, so I'll probably go there around about twelve o'clock, one o'clock ish, and then after that. If I've got some spare time, I'll go straight up to Eno. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys, hopefully tomorrow, for another episode of The Adventures of, to of to Tokyo, Japan. Cheerio! Sayonara! Oh, dame dame, dame yo, dame nare yo. Anta ga... Suki de suki suki te Dore da ke sui o sake de mo Yuge manai Omori de ga Baka mitai Lovely little blossoms Starting to grow around this area as well Told you people. Now, I have been speaking to a lot of different people back in the UK, and a lot of them are furious that they found out that the cherry blossoms are already out around here because a lot of them have actually booked it for next week, where most of the blossoms then will probably start to die out. <laughs> because on the news it says they have not blossomed this early in over 120 years shit that's been good for me that is that's pure luck i'd say very pure luck i'm just gonna sit down here just so i can chat with you guys ah oh, it's nice isn't it um yeah 120 plus years since the cherry blossoms ever 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 got out this early before it's never really got out this early popular um, I'll, it must be a blessing for me because I was trying to get the holiday spot for me to do the cherry blossoms for it, but I was not I was, I was not able to do it. It um, wasn't because of expenses or anything, it was because of, of course, with work ethic. But I digress with that because I think it was the best choice for me anyhow. Now the question is though, when when I do go back to, when I do come back to Tokyo again, which will be 2025, that's I've already predict, I've already answered that question to you guys. I'll be coming back here in 2025. I think there is a World Cup going on around then, or um, some sort of special event in Tokyo. I'm not 100% certain. But if there is, great. If there's not, it doesn't really matter. 
but what month do I choose? That's the question. Can't do Christmas because work is more important for Christmas time. I'm not going in January, it's too fucking cold. And plus it's my birthday month, I have to do that at home. I've done the cherry blossom season. I've done November a lot. October could be a good situation again, or September. I've not decided yet. I have to find out the right time for it. I might able to. I might. I should come out here during the summertime again because the summertime was freaking amazing. Even though we did have some tsunami times as well, which was freaking hilarious. But I can definitely say though. Ooh, that's a nice looking car. Oh, Mercedes. I like the look of that Mercedes. That's nice. Um, but I have not a clue on what month I'm going to do next because, like I said, I'm not going to be alone in 2025. That's the that's the main thing about it, though. 2025 will be the time where somebody is actually going to be coming with me again. Um, 2016, Yuki Boy Joe was with me, and that was a not bad holiday. It was quite funny for what it was. But I think we need a female to join our to join our adventures this time. And some of you guys may already know who she is. And that is Beth. Uh, Beth's been speaking to me all the way through this trip and she really, really wants to come. And I just said to her, start saving up. Start saving up the same time as me and we'll get there. And she said deal. So uh, yeah, so probably in 2025, it'll be probably be me and Beth doing the Adventures of Tokyo one more time. I think that's enough for our little tiny break. Let's press on and see what else we can find. Fucking hell, it's Smokey the Bear. <laughs> what the fuck is another fucking Lamborghini? What the f Where are they all coming from? I'm really being interrupted by a freaking Lamborghini. It looked like a size Lamborghini, his old one, his purple one. I came across this. Here's one thing I love about parking here in Tokyo. If you guys do drive, this is the best thing for you. So, for a few for a few hours, it's 1,200 yen. For an extra 30 minutes, it's an extra 350 yen. And pretty much, you park, go in there, you go through them doors, then all of a sudden you get out. A driver will go ahead and get in the car. It'll launch it way down below underground, and they'll park it in like these like weird chambers for cars. And then when you want your car back, you put the, you get your number, and bang, they'll get your car right back out. Twelve o'clock, and all crap. wondering why the hell am I back in Akiba? One reason, Ginza Steak was fully bought. God damn it! Every year, every time that happens, you have the first one, you love it and you want to go back to it and then all of a sudden, it's fucking bought. Of course, because it is a Saturday, so everybody's out, everybody's off. So, pretty much, I was expecting it, but you can't win them all though, can you people? Of course you can't. Anyhow, what is the plan? What is the plan? You need to eat some Dubsy. What are you going to go for? Every time when I was walking past Aki Akiba, I always see this like a little tiny beef bowl place. The other one I told you about, the Mega Beef Bowl. I want to check it out. I think it's got an English menu, so I know exactly know what I'm at getting. I, I'm interested, really. I'm quite interested. I have heard it is a stand-up restaurant, so there's no seating. It's literally just standing as you are, and you just eat. When you finish, you pay and leave. That's how it is. So, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, the Kobe beef thing is not longer happening anymore. But it doesn't matter. We've already had it. But this mega beef bowl place is also known that they have Wagyu too. So, it may not be the amazing of all amazing Wagyu, but... If it's reasonably priced and it's in my budget, might as well. So uh, you can be sure. 
let's go check it out. Let's hope it's fucking open. Bro, okay people. I feel sick to my stomach. I just went into this little tiny Pokemon store, slash Yu-Gi-Oh, and they had stuff for the fraction of the price I actually paid for, and it was even cheaper. It would just fucking annoy me sometimes when it happens, and this is literally, out just, out just literally a slight limb a step outside of Akiba, in a little alleyway. They had championship play mats for 4,000 to 3,000 yen each and they're the official ones. They're fucking at the official ones from back from 2016 all up to now. There was two element ones, there was Splite, there was freaking um, the Cacheteras. There was fucking everything in there. I feel fucking sick because if I didn't spend that much money buying... Oh, the fucking the fucking booster boxes that I bought from the past, the ones that were fucking expensive, they were in there cheaper. Can't win them all though, people. I now know this thing is does exist, and now I've got the evidence on my vlog. This I will remember in 2025. There's no way that place will shut down in two years. No fucking way. The place has so much good stuff, and I bet a lot of people will buy quite a lot of it. But. I know in 2025 there'll be even more bigger and even better things coming out and I will go in there and I will purchase them myself. That is a hell of a find.